This is what the Detroit Lions need to do in the 2024 NFL Draft. Ryan Wilson and Emory Hunt from with the first pick here to give you an ultimate mock draft for the team that picks 29th. All right, Emory, into the NFL Mock Draft Database Simulator we go. I'm thinking defensive line edge here at the, at the front here. If we get one of our dudes, if not, I'll let you lead the way here, Brad Holmes. <laughs> well, we did such a great job last year, and you know they bring in Marcus Davenport via free agency. But free agency, but to your point, he may or may not be healthy all seventeen weeks. So let's see what we have here. Let's look at Edge first. To your point, all right. I'm not oh. feeling anybody right there. Now you let's don't go. like Chopper Darius at that at that point. Uh, I mean, let's go. Let's go to wide right. receiver too. We'll put a pin in it. Let's see what man. He's going right to wide receiver. Wide receiver, you, you know what? I'm on Ron Say Brown, Jamison Williams. Who's your wide receiver through you bringing Donovan Peoples Jones? Do you trust him or do you want to take a chance on, you know, one of these guys like a Keon Coleman give you another big dog, uh, at receiver? Which so we think? picked 29 and we picked 61. So let's say, do we want, do we trust that there will be an edge rusher at 61 that we like better than one of these wide receivers? Whew, that's tough. Let, okay, let's gamble and say Ricky Pearsall may be there. So let's yeah. go back to Chop Robinson. Okay. Yeah. I actually, I love Darius Robinson. I think chop opposite Aiden Hutchinson is a lot of juice. Yeah. Especially when you think about what they have in James Houston, get him back fully yep. healthy. So you have guys that can come in and do more than one thing. And by the way, people uh, on the internet and everything they say is always true. They like to push back that chop only had four sacks last year. I would encourage you just to go watch some highlights of chop just to get a sense of who he is. I understand that sometimes we look at the stats, but, players more than stats because if we were just looking at stats you'd be you know we just run the madden simulations and getting on with your day <laughs> all right 61 man we got roman wilson there listen so kamari lasser they need cornerback help he one of the times i saw from his 40 was 465 at his pro day that does not work as an outside cornerback mm -hmm. but there were times that tw uh, field yates tweeted out from espn from four other nfl personnel folks that were there that had him at four five one that range so that you can work with four six five is is a non-starter so they do need help at cornerback. Um, Cam Sutton, they moved on from him. Let's see the uh, wide receiver button there, Harry, so we got there. Oh, Burton, easily. Because right now, before we sit, hit select and, and run up to the podium, look at safety. I feel like safety is where they can also use some help. And I think oh, that's man, where – yeah, that's where you got some some options. So let's – I could see one guy there that they could potentially there. We're trying to game the draft. But let's go ahead on and grab – uh, Jermaine Burton, who's super yeah. close, kind of mm -hmm. reminds me a lot of what Odell Beckham used to do at LSU and that type yeah. of explode built about the same way. So I like That's him a lot. Right. So here's the thing you mentioned safety. They don't need, I love Javon, uh, um, Javon Bullard, but they have Brian Branch. But right. I will say this if you want to get uh, a safety opposite Kirby Joseph, my guy, scroll down a little bit there for me, Jaden Hicks out of Washington State. Now you got That's two you guys, you got Hicks and you got DTD. You got DTD. Hicks a little bigger. DTD, I think, is a little more versatile. And um, is that the next on the to-do list, or do we want to look at, like, interior offensive line? Because they lost. They bring in Zeitler, though, and they got Sorsdahl from, from William & Mary, who I really like a lot. Shout out, um, William & Mary. That's right. He's shout him out. So we, we can go, Um, you know, Taylor Decker is. Oh, Christian Haynes, too? My goodness. Yeah, so you got you got options, man. And you, I mean, heck, the kid. uh montgomery right there for mahogany i'm sorry from yeah bc oh, that was pretty good so all right i'll let you decide what do you which direction position wise you want hey go? let's go guard i, I you know Ooh. i I'd rather i rather mahogany i think he did a great job at BC. oh you like him more than hayes, hayes? Yeah. I, th I think hayes is a dog all right you can find him at football game plan on twitter if you want to yell at him <laughs> <laughs> Lions fan, I'm good with Lions fans because I loved. I gave them an A plus for their draft last year. So that was they, an A plus they, draft. They, they, <laughs> they trust. They trust my evaluation. So I'm gonna keep that good grace going. And I will say this: they zig when everyone thought they should zag last year in that draft class, and they still hit a grand slam. Yeah, and, and that's what you have to do, man. You're picking for your team. So right. let's go back to to corner and safety. So corner, I mean. I'm not taking Kalen King. I apologize, Kalen King. I need to see a little more from him. Yeah, Hopefully, Lopin will... is probably the better guy there. But let's go to safety. Let's go to safety. See if one of our dudes is there. Oh, listen, Mustafa is just from from a sheer chaos perspective. Let's draft Mustafa. Like unbelievable, right. someone that can get from you know deep third to the backfield in an instant and blow the plays up. 
I, I love his game, man. He would fit perfectly as a as a third safety, as a you know, a, you know, a guy that they could rotate in there and cause disruption. Plus, he did a lot of damage. Here's the thing: I'm going to go on record, just so so producer Harry knows in the room. I'm not down with this pick, but I will say this: he is an iffy Melon Fonlu type player, and they they uh, they'll patrol the same the same part of the field um, in terms of the way they look and the way they play. I get it. I'm okay with that. Let's rock. Man, I wanted James Williams to do more in the pre-draft process because I liked his tape. Mm -hmm. All right. Pick 201. Let's look at corner again, as long as we're beefing up the secondary. Producer Harry, see what we got there. So we got Pritchett, who I like. McLaughlin, who you and I both like. Kamal Haddon was uh, a fun watch. Devonshire was a little thinly framed for me. Johnny Dixon, I like Ryan. I mean, I like all these guys. I don't know if any one of these guys... And, and listen, uh, Ryan Watts kind of gives you the best of both worlds. Yep. You know, he's what I classify as a combo safety. So you can kind of, if you're facing a tight end that's athletic, you throw him on there. If you're facing a bigger wide receiver, you throw him on there because that's where he matches up really well. It gives you good matchup capability. Um, but so does Brian Branch, right? And so now you just wonder, okay, should we continue to build that offensive line depth or should we yeah, hit the all to... button, Harry? Let's see what else we got. Let's see what, what best, best player available. available. Caesar is a pretty doggone good good one too, but we we've already addressed um, defensive line. Yep, Jalen Ford's got some juice, but I think we're okay at linebacker. Keep scrolling a little bit, Harry. Let's see what we got here. Jordan Jefferson, interior defensive line help, and he's got he plays with an edge. <laughs> right, and and Borderlina gives you some depth at center um, as well. So you know what, I I like Borderlini a lot. I would say let's let's continue to to add depth along the yep. offensive line. I'm we saw that, that get beat up toward the back end of the season. That Frank Rack now, he's you know a little little older. I'm okay mm -hmm. with that. Whew. I'll be listen, I would be hard pressed to pass up uh that tight end um from Florida State that we just saw. Jaheem. Jaheem Bell. I listen, but you got Brock Wright. You you really got Brock Wright. Um you 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 like James Mitchell and his athleticism, and we know about Sam Laporta. So that would be like too many miles to feed and too much athleticism right. you know what i'm saying you kind of car you got a, a, a garage full of ferraris and you're trying to bring the a toyota <laughs> in there at the end i would say i would say <laughs> this let's, let's go back to um let's go back to cornerback man like we keep flirting around with it we we do have to add somebody there hey you know what scroll down a little bit uh one of the guys i like is from your neck of the woods back in the day uh jerry's monroe out of Tulane. yeah i like him too big man big he's corner. Big, he's physical, he can play. I like Marcellus Dow too. You know, another one that's athletic and uh and big. So here's what they do have. You you get you got Emmanuel Mosley. You I love Amik Robertson. Um, you know, you, you do need a bigger corner that you can trust, a guy that can match up one on And they got Carlton Davis to to help fill right, that need. Exactly. So you need depth behind that for sure. You need depth. So because Amik's you know, a little undersized. I would say let's let's go with Monroe. You know, Tulane did some good things uh defensively, so I like Monroe. All right. All right, we got one more pick, so we can do best available. Let's go quarterback. Oh, boy. If Joe Milton's there, just have him out there. He had to go outside to, to throw the ball. You see him at his pro day? He had to go outside to throw the yeah, balls? Yeah, just so he won't break the <laughs> – uh, They just put in new lights. <laughs> all right, we got all right. me, Keaton Slovis, uh, Jack Plummer. Now, you've watched all 4,000 of these available quarterbacks. Anyone here? Darren Granger, if he's up there, scroll right. down. <laughs> he's even on the list. Harry's gonna have to do the search function. They don't do they don't do their work over. Frank Harris retired. He a co he a uh, coach now at UTSA. Oh, you um, get a player coach then. What's wrong with that? <laughs> let's let's go let's let's go to uh tackle. All right, man. Emory Jones. He he was a blast from the past. He's, he's... I know. I'm surprised he didn't get into an All Star game, man. Uh, I anything. love Glover. Let's go Glover, Georgia State. All right. All right, that's it, man. Now, this is another zig if you zag draft. At the top, I think it makes sense. Uh, Chop Robinson, a little juice off the edge at 29 with Aiden Hutchinson. Again, I implore you to go watch Chop Robinson play. There's no one with a higher motor than Chop Robinson. Jermaine Burton, uh, he wasn't underutilized, but it took Jalen Milrow uh, about a half a season to get his his feet set. He got benched for a game in Alabama, and then he started throwing deep balls, all of them to Jermaine Burton, I felt like. Christian Mahogany uh, adds some interior line depth, as does Tanner Bordellini. Got Mustafa as a uh, enforcer in the secondary, and Jerry's Monroe, one of my favorite players, uh, as a day three prospect out of Tulane, adding some uh, 
physicality to the secondary. All right, Emory, that's it. That is a wrap on the Perfect Lions draft class. Make sure to subscribe to NFL on CBS on YouTube and download the With the First Pick podcast. We're we'll your podcast. Stay tuned for more Ultimate Mock Drafts because we're hitting all 32 teams.